Hi there, it's Pride Daily for Thursday. A man who firebombed a church in America for planning to host drag events has been given 18 years in prison. Eamon Penny threw two Molotov cocktails at the community church of Chesterland in Ohio last March. The 20-year-old said he was trying to protect children and wanted to burn the church to the ground. It was barely damaged. Reverend Jess Peacock told WKYC Channel 3 the two drag events had to go ahead. To shut it down, what message are we sending to people who are eager for this, who want this, who desire this? Another reason is because there are, whether people like it or not, there's queer people in this county. Among the items found when Penny was arrested, a gas mask, a White Lives Matter t-shirt and a Nazi flag. So not the kind of person you'd bring home to meet your mother. The first out gay Prime Minister of France says mindsets are evolving there when it comes to LGBTQ plus issues. Gabriel Attal's only been in the job a few weeks, but his sexuality has generally just been accepted. He says France was tearing itself apart over same-sex marriage just 10 years ago, but being French in 2024 means it's fine to have a gay PM. And LGBTQ plus History Month kicks off today in the UK. This year, it's highlighting the contribution of queer people to medicine and healthcare, plus the inequalities they can experience in those areas. There's actually a few LGBTQ plus history months at other times in the year elsewhere in the world. The first time it happened in the UK was 2005. It started in America 11 years earlier. And if you scroll through our feed to the Christmas week episodes, you'll find Pride Daily's eight part A to Z of LGBTQ plus history. I'm Kev McGrath. See you tomorrow.